Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Monkey here. How is everybody doing today? Man, I just got back from a totally awesome ski day. Just got back about an hour and a half ago. Man, it was totally awesome. I was at ski resort for like eight hours. It was totally awesome. They had a foot of snow when I got there. They had like another six inches all day long of fresh snow. It was snowing heavy the whole day. It was totally epic, totally awesome. In fact, I'll even show you like a few minute ski clip right after this video vlog. Fair enough, fair enough. Let me just put the skis down real quick. Yeah, I'll show you a little ski clip right after this vlog. And it's always good to have a drink. It's always good to have a drink after a powder day, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about powder days. I know y'all want to hear a little tale, a little story about me back in my mid-30s. Back in my mid-30s, I was like 34, 35, living in Alaska. And I wanted to go to the Black Home Whistler Ski Resort. It's about an hour and a half north of Vancouver. I wanted to go there and check it out. So I decided to get my plane tickets and take a one week vacation to Vancouver, Canada. And then I go skiing at the Black Home Whistler Ski Resort for four days straight. That's right. That's right. So anyway, I arrived to Vancouver, Canada. I arrived to Vancouver, Canada. And I met this cute, sexy Asian guy. I met this cute, sexy Asian guy in his mid, late 20s, real skinny, about 110 pounds, real sexy as hell. And I fucked him in my hotel room. That's right. But we only had about an hour or two. And then he had to leave because he had to work the next day. And the next day, I had to go skiing at the ski resort. That's right. That's right. I had to go skiing at the ski resort the next day. Um, but right before that, let me just tell you another story about Vancouver. Actually, two days prior to meeting that Asian guy, I actually did a small little sex orgy party in Vancouver with a hot white guy. He was similar to me in his early 30s. He was an Asian bottom, real muscular, sexy Asian bottom, mid-20s. Another sexy Asian, versatile, mid-20s. We did a little orgy. The 27-year-old um, muscular Asian, we all gang-banged him. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. And then, like I said, two days later, I then met that hot, sexy Asian guy. We had sex. But then he had to go to work the next day, and I had to go skiing at Black Home Whistler the next day. And it was four days in a row. Four days in a row. And it was totally awesome. First day was just an average day. Pretty good. Just checking out the ski resort. The next day, I woke up in the morning, a foot of powder, <laughs> a foot of powder at the base. The following day, that was day three, I woke up, there was like a foot of powder at the base. <laughs> the following day, the following day, my final day, it was a like Friday, there was a foot of powder at the base. It was freaking mega epic, man. It was just the best skiing. It was some of the best skiing of my life. Totally freaking awesome. And then I get back to Vancouver, and I'm on the bus from the ski resort, headed back to Vancouver, and I'm texting the Asian guy. This is the Asian guy I met. Um, we did the one-on-one. -on -one. This was right after the orgy. Me and the Asian guy did the one-on-one. -on -one. This the, the night before I went to the ski resort. So I'm texting him because he says he's going to meet me that Friday night so we can just have sex all weekend long until I go home on Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. We'll just have sex like crazy. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, especially after four totally awesome ski days in a row, you know what I'm saying? Three of them powder days, totally epic, all right? So anyway, the Asian guy finally gets to my hotel around 11 o'clock at night that Friday night, and man, it was just crazy. <laughs> it was freaking awesome. We, we literally had sex for like eight hours straight that night, all the way into like Saturday morning. Then Saturday, we walk around Vancouver for like an hour or two. He went to go meet a friend for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We get back to the hotel that Saturday night, and it's like another eight hours of sex, 12 hours of sex. Literally, I'm like up in his ass for like 12 hours straight. And, that, that's, and then the other like six, eight hours, I was all up inside him you know, late Friday all the way into Saturday morning. <laughs> so literally, I was literally doing it for like 20 hours from late Friday night all the way to like Sunday morning. That was just a really, really good time. Just wanted to share that with you. It was a real, real good time. Just wanted to say that real quick. Man, it was powder crazy at the ski resort and the sex was amazing too.